What is up guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John and today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today I picked up the Canon EOS M50 and we're gonna be doing a little bit of an unboxing into first impressions. I really needed a new top-down camera. I didn't need a new top-down camera, but I wanted a new top-down camera because um, I really wanna start making videos with uh, my cell phone and my iPhone 10 and the smart battery case that I have. So for things like that, for um, the videos where I wanna test out my iPhone with different accessories and with different um, products and things like that, I really wanna have an official camera as a top-down camera. And also I think the video, the image quality, the video quality is gonna be a little bit sharper and a little bit nicer than the iPhone camera that I am currently using as the top-down uh, camera, which you're looking at right now. So as we see here, we've got the EOS M50. It'll be perfect exactly for what I need it for. I bought this camera with the kit lens. It's got the 15 to 45 millimeter lens. You can pick it up at Best Buy. I believe it was $649.99 or maybe about, yeah, it was uh, $649.99, I believe. You can pick yours up at Best Buy if you are interested in a camera like this. It is an APS-C uh, crop sensor with the ability to shoot 4K photos. And of course, you can also use, um, there, you can also use um, much higher quality Canon lenses if you choose to. So, and I believe they also sell those at Best Buy as well. So today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing and a bit of a first impressions of the Canon EOS M50. I am super excited. This is a really premium looking box. This is my first ever Canon camera. I hear they are the best cameras you can buy in terms of color science. And I think it will make a great top down camera for that reason alone. So. The contents of the box is on the side here, but we're gonna go ahead and do an unboxing of this bad boy. We're not going to read off the box today. Uh, some days I do read off the box, like if it's important, I think, if there's some important information on there. But uh, today we're just gonna be looking directly at um, the EOS M50. We're gonna be doing an unboxing and the first impressions of it. So right off the bat, we've got an EOS M50 user manual right up top for us to look at, but we're gonna put that off to the side. Let's see what else here. Register now, USA only, so register your Canon imaging product now. Um, not sure that I'm gonna do that right this second, but maybe later. Let's go ahead and get into the goodies here. So far, this looks extremely organized and very well packaged uh, compared to some other brands. But, uh, so we're gonna start off, I guess, with the, uh, with the neck strap here. So we'll go ahead and push that bad boy out. And this is my first ever Canon strap. I sort of have a collection of straps now that I have the Panasonic G85 and I also have a Sony um, A7 Mark III. Uh, so I've got the straps to them, but uh, we're gonna put the strap off to the side because that's not really important. Here's the camera. We're gonna put that off to the side for a second so that we can get into some of the other goodies here. And so I can really give you an in-depth look at what you're gonna be getting when you get the Canon EOS M50. Now, when you get the Canon EOS M50, you are going to get the wall charger, which as you know, the Sony a7 III does not come with. Of course, the Sony a7 III is in a class of its own. It is a far superior camera to the EOS M50. But um, nonetheless, you would think that you would get a wall charger with the A7 Mark III, and you do not. Here we have it, folks, a $650 Canon camera that has the ability to shoot 4K coming with a wall charger. So this camera is already shaping up to be pretty awesome. And let's go ahead and take a look at the battery. Now, the battery is something that I am concerned about. Uh, I currently have the Panasonic and the Sony a7 Mark III, and the battery life for the a7 Mark III is absolutely unbelievable. Let me just point that out. So, you know, even though the Sony a7 III didn't come with a wall charger, it has a pretty freaking awesome battery, pack, battery power. Uh, so I expect this Canon EOS M50 to have a decent battery power. Um, I have the Panasonic Lumix G85, and the battery power for that camera 
is so-so. Uh, I am constantly having to charge it up and when I am using it, I am constantly having to worry about um, the battery dying on me. So, but with the a7 III, I can just pick it up and use it whenever I want, really. And in fact, I'm shooting this video with 12% battery on it. So hopefully we make it through to the end of this video on the a7 Mark III. I charged up the Panasonic Lumix G85 earlier. It's good to go. But uh, I'm thinking the Sony a7 III, we might have to finish this video shortly here. Okay, so we've got the battery and we've got some other awesome stuff in here that I just have to pull. Oh, that's right. I forgot, I bought the kit lens. I bought this with the kit lens. So, we've got the kit lens in here. This is the 15 to 45 millimeter, which is gonna be perfect for my top-down shot. Let's go ahead and get right into it, folks. So there is our lens. Um, so far, pretty cool looking little lens here. Um, it's got the, it has, let's see here, it is a 15 to 45 millimeter, we know that and a 49 millimeter diameter, the lens diameter. So that is something that's really important to me. So this may not let in a whole ton of light, but it will definitely do a lot better of a job than say the iPhone 10 camera. This uh, lens is much wider, has a much wider aperture than the iPhone 10 camera does. So we should definitely be able to get in more light. So this, um, let's see, this has an aperture of um, 3.5 to 6.3, which is um, pretty good, it's okay. Could be better, could be in the twos or the ones, but uh, not expecting that from this camera. And if I wanna upgrade my lens in the future, I, I can. Uh, as we all know, Canon has a fantastic lens selection. Uh, so that is the EOS M50 box. We'll get that off to the side. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, for the grand finale, I've done enough talking here. The bubble wrap comes off. We'll throw that off to the side and it's left. We are left with it in this plastic bag here. And here she is. The Canon EOS M50. I'll go ahead and set it down on the table for you guys to look at there. Um, really pretty camera. Not too complex. This is supposed to be a very simple camera. This is going to be a great camera for vlogging and like I said, perfect for the top-down shot that I need that my iPhone 10 is currently doing. Really nice camera, folks. Um, I was originally looking at a Fujifilm, but did not like the build quality or the construction of it. I prefer the build quality and the construction of this Canon EOS M50. So as you see, we've got the APS-C sensor in there, the micro four thirds sensor, which is really nice. I'll go ahead and let you guys take a good look at it there as it's glistening in the light and changing colors, which is really cool. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and spoil the scene here. And we're gonna go ahead and throw the lens on for the first time. So go ahead and snap it right in. I think it's in, it's definitely not in. Folks, I am not a professional at this, so please bear with me. There we go, now she's in. So that is what the camera looks like with the lens on. A very nice little, it looks like a very capable camera. You also have a lens locking feature here. If you just look up very closely there, that is a lens locking feature. So now I can move it out of the, of its um, standby mode. So this is sort of, this is not really a lens locking feature. It's really just a standby mode. Uh, because the lens sort of protrudes out between 15 and 45 millimeters. If you can see that there, it protrudes out. So when you're done using the camera, you simply um, slide this little button forward and rotate the lens back and it retracts fully so that you can put your lens cap on and be ready to go and throw it in your camera bag and take it wherever you need it. 
Okay, so how does it feel in the hand? Uh, it feels pretty durable. It feels pretty simple. It doesn't feel like a tremendously complex camera. But, um, you know, I, I like that I prefer this camera over the Fujifilm X-T, you know, I'm not even going to say. I think it was the X-T20 that I was looking at. And um, it was just a little bit too complex looking for me. Uh, this camera is very simple. It has this tremendous uh, flip out screen, this really nice flip out screen, um, which is actually a little bit bigger in size than the Sony A7 Mark III. Um, guys, with the battery in, it feels it's a little bit heavier, but it's not too heavy. You get this really premium, very modern looking construction with these lines here. And of course you have a hot shoe. It has the ability to take on an onboard microphone, but I'm not going to be utilizing that. It also has a three and a half millimeter headphone port, or I'm sorry, microphone port, which is really nice. Also something that you, that most of you are going to appreciate about this camera is that it does not come with um, any obnoxious clicking, uh, dangling things on the side for you to strap your uh, neck band to or your the, the camera strap to. It's just pretty simple. Like I said, this is a very simple camera. You've got an HDMI port and a micro USB port here. Um, it is Wi-Fi enabled. There's a Wi-Fi button right there. And of course, uh, last but not least, in the bottom of the cam at the bottom of the camera, uh, where the battery is located, is where the micro SD card will go. I picked up a 128 gigabyte micro SD card. That should be plenty for me. Folks, this is the Canon EOS M50. You can pick it up at Best Buy, which makes it a big box good. My name is John. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.